I just can't keep up with the reading material in my psych class. There's so much information. Compared to high school, the step up in the reading load is probably one of the biggest adjustments that you'll have to face. Too often students are set on autopilot. They're probably thinking that they need to read everything and read it exactly the same way, much as they had done in high school. In reality, you probably won't be expected to read everything that's assigned, but you are going to need to know how to choose wisely. The reading list for my government classes includes the Federalist Papers, the Constitution, and John Adams' letters. What am I supposed to do with all of that? This is really about more than reading. It's about managing information strategically. And that's a lifelong skill that all of us are going to have to face in the 21st century. So it's really important to keep a couple of principles in mind. First of all, be selective. Ask yourself, why is the professor assigning this reading material? What am I really supposed to get out of it? That's going to help you gauge how much of the material you should be reading and at what level of detail. Next, be sure you have a purpose when you start reading. Really efficient readers generally have a goal. They even set time limits when they read. So for example, something like, I'm going to try and cover uh, 20 pages in 30 minutes. Occasionally I assign text to provide an alternate perspective or some historical context. For example, if we're reading a book on the Civil War, I might assign a text by a foreign observer. But I wouldn't hold students accountable for the same level of detail as I would with something like our primary text for the course. There really is an underlying parallel here with the research skills that most students have developed for using the internet. Online, students are very shrewd about how to refine their purpose, sharpen their search terms, and zero in on material with a great deal of accuracy. They can carry that same sense of focus and mission over into their academic reading. I'm drowning in detail. Am I really going to be tested on all this? Feeling lost in detail is a common experience for many students, particularly if they've just left a high school environment where they were tested on their recall of detail. It's really important to keep the big picture in mind. I want my students to glean larger concepts, questions, issues, and concerns, rather than focus on specific details or facts. When you begin to see how the assignment fits into the larger purposes of the course, you can begin to start reading for significance rather than detail. And that's the point at which you should start paying attention to the preface, the introduction, or the abstract. It's usually in this kind of material that the author makes clear to you what he really wants you to take away from the reading. When I approach my own professional reading, I rely on a body of prior knowledge that I've already gathered from lectures, films, other books that I've read. And then I try and assess how this new book is different and therefore important. But I'm just a student. I don't have all that knowledge. Consult the syllabus to see if you can identify the professor's rationale for assigning that text. Then make use of some extra textual clues and do some pre-research. Check out reviews, Google Scholar, and maybe Wikipedia. I can usually understand the material as I'm reading it, but how can I remember everything when it comes to test time? Research shows that we forget about 40 to 50 percent of the material we read within 15 minutes unless we make an effort to recall it immediately. So you're going to want to build some regular recall routines into your study. Talk the material back to yourself or imagine yourself explaining it to a friend. If you can put the information into a narrative or a story format, that's helpful as well. Stories are always easier to recall. Let's review. Be selective about what you read. Read with a plan and purpose. See the big picture as you read and make connections. Use rehearsal techniques after reading to enhance your memory.